Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we conquered the bottomless sea and uh, unluckily did not recruit Kyogre, but we'll come back to that in a later time. I have uh, quite a bit I need to say that I did in between episodes. First off, you can see I'm actually Master Star Rank. That took no time whatsoever. Uh, I only had a thousand points about until Master Rank, so that was like one mission. And then it was only like three more missions to Master Star Rank, and you can actually see I'm already at like 3,000 points till the next rank. So it actually like, that took like five days of exploring, if that. Yes, I'm going to be doing missions in between episodes without showing it, because I feel like those just get extraneous, and it's the same thing every time, so I don't really need to show that. Um, also, you'll notice my party is actually Flygon, Mew, and Palkia, because that's who we're bringing into this next dungeon. We can't bring Sceptile and Glaceon because they both have a weakness to fire, and uh, we're going to be going to the giant volcano, of course. So, of course, uh, Vibrava evolved in the last episode, so we have Flygon. I want to relearn a move, because Flygon is now able to learn Dragon Claw, which is pretty much the best uh, dragon type move in this game. I'm just gonna get rid of Giga Drain, to be honest. Uh, it's not going to be very useful. We already have a grass type in our main team, so we don't really need Flygon sporting the grass type. I want I want Flygon to have a good, strong main move, and that's gonna be Dragon Claw from now on. I'm not gonna teach it another ground type move because there's not really a lot of good ground type moves in this game. Like Sand Tomb, Dig, Earthquake, Magnitude, that's all you really get to choose from, to be honest. Anyway, uh, that should do it. How much money do I have? Doesn't matter. So, okay, I want to show off my items. I'll organize everything. We have a couple of scarves here. You never know what could happen. I want to bring the friend bro bow especially because got Reviver Seeds, got Max Elixirs, got Orbs. We're bringing the Secret Slab. And I should have done this with some other dungeons because there's actually an effect it could have there. The Secret Slab is going to enable a legendary Pokemon to spawn in Giant Volcano that I want to try and recruit. Um, we have unlocked Giant Volcano, right? Yeah, of course we have. So, this is gonna be our first time we're actually going to this dungeon. Obviously, I don't go here much because, uh, it is a fire-type dungeon, and I can't bring my main two party members here because they will get absolutely bopped. Ooh, I love the colors here. So, before we do anything, like, I want to show off the fact that we have Palkia. It's a size 4 Pokemon, obviously. Mew is not. However, Mew can learn any move in the game, so this is its move set. Um, it does have Blizzard because I have like three Blizzard TMs, Shockwave, False Swipes, a very strong physical move, and then Psychic because that good old stab. I'm not gonna disable anything there, however, for Palkia, I want to disable Spatial Ren just so it's not spamming it the entire game. However, uh, of course we need to bring a Water type in here to have a pretty good advantage over our enemies. Look at that, just knocked out a Monferno. And I also want to mention, I've actually been building up a a side team that I use in between episodes, not because I don't want, you know, our main team to- I got a burn from a one flamethrower, thanks. Yeesh. Also, I want to give the friend bow to us, just so, uh, you know, sitting pretty. Now this is weird. The fire isn't, the burn isn't doing any damage to me. I don't know if that's like a bug in the game, but like when I, okay. When I was exploring in the game, there were actual multiple times where burning doesn't hurt me. And I'm not sure why exactly. I'm not sure if it only hurts me when I use a move or what, but it's something. I brought plenty of faux fear orbs. I'm not even messing with this. And I am going to, yeah, they're all afraid. That's a lot of Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Palkia's Spatial Ren so uh, they can have some fun with that. Disable everything else, because you know how it be. All right, let's bring them on in. Oh, it's going to use it even when it's not in the room. That sucks. I'm just gonna go for the stairs, honestly. Eee. He's covering the stairs. I'll, I'll fight him, whatever. They're all afraid, so whatever. Yeah, now Spatial Rend will hit everything, won't it? It didn't? Really? Oh, now it's just gonna use it and it's gonna hit Torchic. Uh... Do I want... Use Spatial Rend. Yeah, this should knock out most of them. I want the experience. So, as I was saying before, 
there's a team that I've been building up in between episodes. For when I'm not... Wow. Swelled. My level sw oh, I don't like that wording. For when I'm not recording, I don't want our main team to be getting an insane amount of experience. And that team is Mew, Misdreavus, which I actually already evolved, and Palkia. They're going to be my outing team for when I'm trying to recruit Pokemon, and uh, basically just going back through levels, uh, getting, getting, uh, doing missions. I want to do all that because we're already a bit over leveled as it is with our main team, so I don't want them getting even more powerful. Uh, that's just my reasoning there. Also, I just realized I have like double like power over all these. But oh, really? You had to use false wipe? It was like one HP anyway, my dude. I think I'll get it. So uh, I'm kind of bring showing off my side team. Miss Magius is actually only like level like ten or something. No, it's like level 25, so it's still kind of useless for outings like this. Definitely wouldn't bring her into it, but uh, I bet I've had fun training up a Miss Magius. It is an interesting Pokemon. Of course, being a uh, ghost type, it can naturally just go through walls and stuff, so that's really neat. I've enjoyed it. Oh, just use Spatial Ren. Knock him out, my buddy. Quilava. Has it already used all of its Spatial Rens? I think it has. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Okay. Pull, enable all the other moves. I don't know why Water Pulse is so weak of a move. I'm not sure if they considered, like, the ability to confuse Pokemon so powerful that it shouldn't be allowed to have it. That it shouldn't be allowed to be, like, strong. But, like, I don't know, dude. Also, I never re-equipped the friend bow. Give that to Flygon. Um, I'll give the... We, have, we picked up a gold ribbon? Oh my god. Big money. Um... Give the special band to my boy Mew, just for that extra damage, you never know. And I'll knock you out myself. Uh, just curious, how many... 10. Dragon Claw is 10 uses. Okay, that's fine. We have Sand Tomb, which does a ton of damage anyway, and has a lot of PP, so that's fun. That's fine. We should be just fine through going through this. Can I recruit a Flareon? Ooh, can I knock out a Flareon, first of all? No, but Palkia can. No boost from the ancient power. That's fine. I guess it wouldn't really matter because the, the power boost would be permanent. I need to find a wonder tile and I'm not going all the way down there to do it. There we go. Oh, goodness. I was worried that... I hate how the, the Pokemon trap and the sleep trap have the same effect. And same with the slow trap and the PP down trap. So, like, I always have, like, a heart attack whenever... I need to be careful here because I can go over the lava and burn myself. I always get a heart attack when I step on a slow, a slowing trap when it's really like not that big of a deal. Just because it's like, oh no, my pee-pee, but it's not my pee-pee. Man, not getting a lot of recruits here for some reason. Uh, I should mention we are like down to level 46 now, so we're not getting a, uh, we're not getting a 1.2 or a 10, 12.5% increase on our, uh, Recruitment rate. It's only a 10% increase at this point, I think. Palkia picked up the silver spike. Good for them. I think Mew also has the ability to go over the lava here, so you need to be careful with that. Hello there. Uh, guess I'll use Dragon Breath. Please don't use a move that can hit me through the wall. Okay, never mind. I'll still do it then. Man, a Sand Tomb would have destroyed you, but I didn't get the chance to use it. Um, coming up here in floor 10, I'm not sure... Oh. Oh my goodness. Do I have a anything seed? No, I don't have a pure seed. I should have brought one. This is the situation that you bring pure seeds in. Whenever you go down a long corridor and then there's just nothing at the end of it and you have to walk all the way back. Ooh, a slugma. This is good. I need some fire types because fire types are definitely not common in this game. Sadly, since we already have a team size of six, Palkia being four and the rest of us being two or being one sized, uh, we can't recruit anyone here for permanent, so that's a shame. I kind of want to see how much damage Dragon Claw will do. It is an extremely powerful Dragon type attack. Boom, the big 80, and that's not being super effective. That's like as much damage as Sand Tomb does while being super effective. Uh oh, straight knocked him out. All right, yeah, okay. Coming up here on floor 10, we are going to have uh, the legendary Pokemon that the Secret Slab is going to spawn in. I'm not 
actually sure if this is a 100% chance of spawning them in, but when we do find them, it's actually going to be a about 50% chance of recruiting them. So I actually want to be careful that our team doesn't do it first, first off, because I believe this counts as a regular enemy. We're just going to find them roaming around the floor. So we need to be careful about that. Not sure why I used rock slide or ground type. Knocked him out anyway. Is that it? Okay, okay. So, if you have a secret slab in your inventory, Moltres will spawn on floor 10 of this dungeon. I want to recruit this Pokemon. I am undoing all of your moves because I want there to be no chance that you attack this Pokemon at all. This is mine. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Dragon Breath. I believe it has regular HP for legendaries. Oh, it's attacking from a distance. Come on, come over. Rock Slide will actually completely annihilate you, so I'm going to use that. No recruit! No recruit! The big 1000 experience, but uh, that's a shame. Luckily, it's such a short dungeon that this will be an easy one to go back to and just recruit Moltres on my own time, but uh, that's a shame. But yeah, I definitely wanted to show that off when we came here. Uh, I believe in the World Abyss, there's also a Pokemon that would have shown up with the... Oh, goodness. With the secret slab and of course I am going to show them all off eventually just didn't okay um just didn't have the foresight to do it in advance so uh that's completely my bad uh hopefully I will be catching any secret slab legendaries that we will encounter from here on oh you're just trapped aren't you I guess I can enable everyone else's moves again since I don't have a problem with them fighting Pokemon. That quick attack did 50 damage, dude. Get out of my life. Uh, yeah. Y'all can use moves again. Once again, Blizz yeah, Blizzard is the only move that acts the way it does. Because Spatial Rend, you'll see that uh, Palkia was using it in the entire room, even if he wasn't next to an enemy. So it is de mm, They're gonna step all over that trap, and I know it. How can I avoid that? Nope. He did it anyway. Great. That brings me down to 22 HP. Uh, let's fight from a distance. This is turning out to be very difficult just because they they don't have the IQ skills to avoid traps. Kind of sucks. Also, one time in between episodes, I actually accidentally went into a dungeon with all of my money and died. So I lost half of my money, but it's fine because we have so much that it really didn't matter. So just thought I'd let y'all know that that happened. Wait, whoa, he was that low? Jeez. These Pokemon weak. Golly. What's that up there? Is that a Combuskin? Yeah. I'm surprised that uh, Palkia hasn't gotten a boost from from Ancient Power yet. And I'm also surprised I'm not recruiting any of these Pokemon. They have fairly high recruit rates, especially since we're holding the, the friend bow, right? Like, yeah, we're doing that. Ooh, also, forgot to mention. So in between episodes, turns out with a Prism ticket that you can, you know, get in the, the Spinda Cafe, with the prism ticket, you can get a friend bow. So I actually have two friend bows right now. So if that at all makes up for the fact that I used a uh, used a code, a wonder code to get the friend bow, I don't know. But hey, I would have had one naturally at this point anyway. So now it doesn't really matter. Really, the blaze boost, you had to get it. Man, I'm going to go ahead and use an ornberry. We've been getting knocked out way too much so far. Rather not have it happen again. Then again, it's pretty much Palkia's fault. Really, the last room. Ooh, you can just get bopped from afar. Okay. Also, our teammates can't actually fight through us because they don't have the IQ skills to do so, so that's why you're not seeing Mewsh send, like, shockwaves through. All right. Not sending shockwaves through us when normally, you know, obviously, like, Glaceon would use Ice Beam through us and stuff like that. Yeesh, fight. Oh, the focus. Ew, Mew's so low. Um... I feel like Mew could maybe knock out Flareon on her own, so I'm going to take out Charmeleon. Oh, wow. Or not. False swipe. Of course, the counterattack gets it. Wow, they're so powerful! Oh, that's so much damage. Okay, I'm taking false swipe off. That's it. You're not allowed to use that anymore. I have it on there because it's just a very powerful move, but, like, if she's not actually going to knock out Pokemon with any of her other moves, like, you don't get to use False Swipe then. 
That is not worth it. Here, you can get... I'm not even gonna play this dangerous game, although I feel like you have Flamethrower and could just knock us out. Yeesh, dude. This has been... Oh. My. God. I'm so done with this floor. This is so... Mm. I was expecting another warp trap right there, I'm not gonna lie. Man, that was terrible. That was absolutely brutal. I can't believe they put us through that floor. Anyway, recruit, please, on an Arcanine. That would have been nice. No. Man. I feel like we're getting really unlucky with our recruit rates. Like, we got Articuno on the first try, we got Giratina on the first try, and then nothing. Absolutely nothing for the rest of the game. I'm gonna take that Ornberry, actually. We might be able to use it a few times. Oh, come on, dude. All right. Uh, Palkia is going to step on that. Nope. Okay. Palkia isn't the smartest cookie in the jar. All right. We really have no other goals until we get to the end of this, so we can just kind of speed through as fast as we want at this point. There's no other Pokemon that the Secret Slab gets. Usually, it's pretty much always going to be one per room. Did I not activate their moves again? Okay. It's just that. Palkia hasn't been using Water Pulse at Pokemon far away. Oh my goodness. Hasn't been using Water Pulse at all, so I just figured must not have it. Alright. Well, since we're aggroing this Pokemon, might as well knock it out. There's the Water Pulse. The big damage. There's so many Pokemon in these floors. I can't, like, I can't get through a room without seeing one. Alright. Keep moving on. I don't know. I maybe, Hmm. Okay. Maybe it just feels weird because I'm not with my main team. I feel like I'm also like rambling a lot because I'm not with like Sceptile and Glaceon and I can't discuss their whole thing. Nope, I'm out of Dragon Breaths. All right. Well, you're going to go down to one Sand Tomb anyway. See ya. Please don't have Flamethrower. You have Lava Plume. That's just as bad. I can't attack you through the wall. I, I, I was about to say, third time's the charm. Uh, you can probably one-shot us, but I don't care. I'm going to use Rock Slide anyway. PP saver, see, it was worth it. And you cringed. Get out of my life. Uh, you can take a Sand Tomb, since you're a fighting type, and resist rock, I think, don't they? I don't know. Go ahead and take an Ornberry, just so I'm not risking anything else. How many Reviver Seeds have we used so far? Too many, obviously, but like, oof. You can get a Rock Slide. It seems like Rock Slide actually does more damage than Sand Tomb, even though I have Stab with it just because it's, you know, a more powerful attack. And it also causes flinching with it, which is uh, very convenient as well. Mirror move, all right. I'm gonna take a step back because I don't wanna get knocked out by mirror move. I think it only mirrors special attacks. I'm not sure though. I just don't have enough experience with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games to know how every effect in the game is. Shouldn't have done that. How every... Oh, wow. That's so much damage rebounding. Like I said, they have their IQ skills, so it's really dangerous. I'm going to let Palkia take the... Wow. He's going to hit me with them anyway. Okay, goodness. Still trying to hit me. You'd think I, they wouldn't be able to hit me anymore. How many does he have? That's ridiculous. Uh, You better get hit by this. Good. Flygon's struggling, my dude. Oh, hey, there's the stairs. Cool. See ya. Don't need to deal with this. It seems like we're not going to be recruiting any of the Pokemon here, despite the fact that we have at least, like, 10% chance for, like, all these Pokemon. I'm not sure why it's not happening. Maybe they a lot of, a lot of them have, like, really negative ones. But even then, like, they'd have to have negative 18, and even then they'd have at least some kind of chance to get recruited. I want to check this real quick. That's Nornberry. Um, you can check your recruitments. Yeah, it's saying I should literally be able to recruit everyone, but I have none. That's so weird. Especially, like, I'm holding the friend bow. Uh, someone mentioned I should go to, uh, get the amber tier or the gold masks sometime soon, since it seems to be very relevant. relevant. I agree. I did want to go and get that as soon as possible, but... Uh, if I do, I want to, like, recruit a Smoochum off-screen. Oh, my God. I guess it's not terrible. I would I would be fine 
with going across that, but it's just Palkia can't follow. That's such a long path. You know what? It's not even worth it. I'm just going to go across. I don't care. Like, the mute, the burn's not going to cause any more damage. Look at that. That was way worth it. I don't know why burns only cause damage in the first turn. Obviously, they, like, have your attack stats, so that's bad, but other than that, it doesn't seem to do much. Take damage. Thanks, buddy. Looks like we're finally starting to, like, one-shot them, even though we haven't leveled up at all, so I don't know why we would. Yeah. No recruits. Oh, that's rude. I'm out of... Every little... Every single flamethrower causes a burn. I'm soup... Ugh. Maybe this is why there's not a lot of fire dungeons in the game. Just because they're, like, intrinsically more difficult. Of course you have earth power. At least we all, like, aren't weak to it or anything. Who used that? Was that camera up? Are you, like, straight diagonal from me? I think you are now. Yeah, no you're not. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get hit with that, my buddy. Ooh. What are we... Oh my goodness. Pocky's dead. Yeah. Yeesh. Okay. Um, here. Where's all my... There. I'm gonna use a Fofier Orb just... <gasps> You're kidding me! Oh my god. This is ridiculous. And he's gonna attack again and get another mirror move on him. He got knocked out two times in one turn. Okay. I'm feared I can't do anything. We lose. We lose. We're not gonna get through this dungeon. We're gonna die. I'm almost out of Reviver Seeds. I can't see them, of course. Palkia is just going to keep attacking because I can't change my team's tactics and use up all of our revive. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that's happening. I can't believe that that's happening. Still feared. Oh my god. Like, we're out of them, aren't we? We have none. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. You're going home. You're... Uh, no. Because now I need you. Now I need you. You're not going to use up any more of my resources because you can't. That's ridiculous. Palky is horrible. Palky is absolutely terrible. Kept attacking a mirror move Pokemon. Couldn't change his tactics because I was feared. Oh my god. And we're about to fight a boss too. Um... Uh, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous. This might be f this might be the most useless adventure we've gone on if we die here. Oh, I'm afraid. I am so afraid. Seekers of the Seven Treasures, I am Heatran, the guardian of the giant volcano. If it is the treasure that you seek, withstand the scorching fire. I challenge you to surpass your limits. Demonstrate your power to me. Now it begins. Man. Man, first off, I do... Oh, he has earth power, doesn't he? I have levitate, so that's not a problem, but still. If he uses that, that's scary. Hopefully I can, like, paralyze him. Okay. From now on, y'all go after. Go after this bad boy. Because I want you to be using all your attacks. Palkia... You are only allowed to use Water Pulse, because it's super effective. All your other moves are not very effective. Mew. Uh, yikes. Guess use Psychic, because all your moves are not very effective. Well, Shockwave would be normally effective, but that's weak. And I have Sand Tomb. And that's going to absolutely destroy him, actually. Maybe we'll knock him out in, like, one turn here. Look at that. The biggest threat we've ever fought. Good lord. He trends apparently like an 8.5%, once again, take with a grain of salt, 8.5% uh, recruit, which makes it like a 30% for us. Fiery drum, once again. Oh, I guess we'll throw away an item. Uh, uh plain seed, obviously. Yep, cool. Once again, uh, increases the recruit rate of fire types by 10%. And we got the recruit! Look at that. He trans saying something. Seemed to develop a kinship with Flygon while ba battling. It says it wants to join the team. Absolutely. Cool. That means we never have to come back here except for Moltres, and that's only half the dungeon. Boom. Okay, so that means we've recruited four of the seven treasure Pokemon. 
we've also gotten that's six we only have one more to go and the last one is going to be arguably the hardest because um something i actually forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode while i was training while i was doing all those missions to get all those uh dungeons from the master star ranks we got a couple of jobs from the spinda cafe one was a challenge from Wish Cash. I wanted to show that off just because I didn't know you could have challenges from Pokemon that weren't scripted. This is just like a regular mission. So you can get these challenge missions from like anything. We got a challenge from Mewtwo for the Sky Stairway at floor 40. It's a 54 dungeon, so it would pretty much be at the end. Eight stars, that's a, hundred, that's a 1,400 free experience because we have to go there anyway. Um, obviously, I do want to try and recruit Mewtwo through this. And then we have a challenge from Jirachi at the Starve Cave Pit. Uh, you can see it's actually not that difficult of a dungeon. That will unlock that dungeon as well for us, I believe. So actually, I'm going to take both of these on screen so I don't do it off screen on accident or something. Challenge letter includes detail about Star Cave. So now we can go to Star Cave. Okay, and the Mewtwo one just doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, so that's the last time we have to use Palkia and Mew. Luckily, we are able to use our main team again for these next two dungeons. I can't believe that Palkia just straight up wasted five Reviver Seeds right there at the end. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting rid of them as soon as possible. Also, I was thinking about giving Shadow Claw to Sceptile because... Uh, Shadow Claw is. I looked on the wiki. I'm not sure if this is true. Shadow Claw apparently has 30 PP, which is an insane amount, and it's a lot. And I'd rather that over like Night Slash's. What is it like 12 PP? And they're the exact same move, exact same power, increased crit rate. Um, it's just the typing that's different, and I don't know if it's the typing that makes it have more PP because now you can't use it on normal type Pokemon, not that I would anyway, so I don't know. Not sure about that. I'm going to uh, be playing as Glaceon probably in this next dungeon, so I'm gonna go ahead and make her the leader. Okay, also I guess something I want to show off before I end off the video here. There's a couple of dungeons I've unlocked. There's one we actually got from the Spinda Cafe for trading and recycling enough items, and that was... If I can find it. Orn Forest. Basically, it's a super easy dungeon where almost, like, I'd say 95% of the items are orange berries and apples. So go there if you need to grind out orange berries, which is actually really good because you need them to swap for proteins in the recycle shop. So that's cool. Um, we also unlocked Oblivion Forest to getting for ma to master star rank. And this is the place that we'll need to bring the secret slab later to get a couple of unlocks. So... That's important. And obviously we just unlocked Star Cave. And I think that's about it. We have Midnight Forest as well. I'm not sure when I unlocked that. That might have also been from like Master Rank or something. But that's somewhere we'll have to go as well. So in the next episode, we're taking on the Sky Stairway. And it's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be more of a challenge than Giant Volcano. I don't know. But we're going to do it. 50 floors, two legendary Pokemons to get on the way up. So see you all then and goodbye.